Akuya here. I'm watching Live for Love TV. Live for Love TV, very educated program. Please subscribe, like, and share. Bless up, Aya. Welcome back to Live for Love TV. Today is the sixth day of the first month, 22nd year inside 21st century. Just here by the Aki. Obviously, they they're not opened yet, so we've got a little while for them to to go. Anyway, did a, some a video some months ago. I think a lot of you'd remember it because it got quite a few views. It's about Djokovic being an inspiration amongst inspirations. I tried to explain what I was talking about and why he inspires me and many other people. And it was to explain it wasn't just about his character on the court. It was also his behavior off the court. He seemed to have something about him that it's hard to put your finger on. Well, today he's trapped in limbo in Australia in some sort of detention hotel um, under a problem of um, the jibby jab apparently he hasn't taken the jibby jab he's got an exemption first they said he was okay now they're taking it to court and saying he's not okay and there's going to be some adjudication made about it now what's interesting is he's been caught up in this worldwide should I or shouldn't I and it looks like him being the number one tennis player in the world the pressure is on for him to comply but the old memory starts to go and you start remembering things and you say this sounds very very familiar where have i heard the number one sportsman in the world being under, put under this sort of pressure hmm. you have to go back to the 1960s with muhammad ali former cassius clay remember when they tried to say he needs to go into the vietnam war and he refused and even when they said to him listen you won't see any action we just need to get you in there. And what was the reason they really wanted him in there? So they could get all the other people to go along and that people would not, you know, stand against the war. Is this what we're seeing again with Mr. Djokovic? Is he being marginalized and pressured so that all the other people in the world who are not currently under that get broken into their way of thinking? Sounds very similar to me. It looks like a rerun. Well, I know we know what, what Muhammad Ali did, and we know what the establishment did. They uh, basically crucified him, gave him three years in prison, even though he didn't spend any time in prison, was, was sentenced, lost his title, and eventually was vindicated, if you, anyone remember, and given back his uh, honorary title, even though, you know, even though obviously he had to fight for his title, but he was vindicated. I don't know what Mr. Djokovic is gonna do on this occasion, as I said, he's an inspiration amongst inspirations. But if they do decide that he can't defend his title, and if it goes further than that and they start saying this and that and he's brought the game into disrepute, they have the ways of doing things. If that, if that all comes out and that, it goes down that road, we'll have to wait and see what, he, what happens. Yeah? We'll have to wait and see what happens. But regardless of whatever happens, it looks like the same thing happening all over again. A powerful set of people, a powerful groups of people trying to force each and everybody and using some of the number one sports stars in the world to get everybody else to go along with their agenda well we'll see because the story continues here and as i said i did a video called inspiration amongst inspirations he's an inspiration to me on and off the court take care live for love tv see you soon This is